Xin chào, what's up everybody? All right, we are at Benthon Market. We're gonna check the prices of stuff. I actually already just shot a video here. I had an old battery in and it decided to just die in the middle of filming 15 minutes in. So I can tell you what we'll, we'll talk about. We'll see what the prices are. Is it still worth coming here? Should you come check this place out? And uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the Roly guy. So the visa. How much is it for the Roly? About $55. $55? Yes, sir. So like a million? One million two hundred. $1,200,000. Let me take a look. What all, do you got like a Pepsi or anything? Yeah. How much are the Pepsis? Pepsi about uh, two million two hundred. Two million two hundred. So a hundred bucks. It's not bad. Let me take a look at the Pepsi. This cola. This Pepsi. Yeah. This one's not bad. How about if I bought a couple? Which one, sir? Different. Like if I bought different this one, this one, and that one. Three. Mm. 5,700,000. Uh, Do them right. Give you 5,200,000. Okay. Okay, come on. Okay. Pepsi's not bad at all. Okay, I think about it. Okay. Come on, thank you. So compared to last time we were here, the Rolexes are down in price, which is good. You can get all those Rolexes for $50. Before COVID, they were $20 to $40. They've about doubled in price, kind of, since uh, they reopened. Man, I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat some food. I just got the, you need to eat hunger pain. So we walked through here already. I did about 15 minutes of good dialogue, talking with, with other vendors and stuff. Uh, the prices are the same pretty much at the end, end price. So if you negotiate, 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 they're starting at a way higher rate though. Like they're, they're crazy prices. They're also riding the price on a lot of stuff now, which is something they never did before. Almost every shop has some kind of riding of some suggested price. They of course give you a different price. I think this is a tactic to essentially get more money. <coughs> Let's go walk, kind of redo what I just did. Let's see here. A lot of vendors don't want to be on camera now here, which is odd. Never had that happen before, but a lot more are, are not interested on in being on camera. Is this your store? Yeah. This one. How much is this one? Which one? How much? The Patagonia. Yeah, Patagonia. This one? Yeah, how much? The hell is this? Look at this thing. She ain't uh, losing that calculator. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, I, and keep in me all you see. All like this. Ah, uh, do right. All like this. I cannot see. So 350. Yes. Yeah. Smakwa. How much now? Mm. When you add more do? 100. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, maximum right. Okay, give okay. Me like this. Okay, for you. Okay, I think about okay, it. Huh? Okay, come on. Okay, I walk know. around. I, come on. I know. I know. How much? Mok foot, I walk around. Oh, you come south. Come on. So that was really high for that bag, that Patagonia bag, you can get for 80 to 100. So I'm gonna give you a really good price guide. Pretty much Benton market is 100K market. Um, pretty much meaning everything here costs around 100K after you're done negotiating and getting them down. These like luxury LVs are gonna be somewhere around 200 to 300K, depending on how good you can negotiate. They're of course gonna start way higher. They're gonna start some of these at 2 million, 1 million. Ciao. Good, how are you? They're going to start at a very high price on a lot of that stuff, but you can eventually get down to like a pretty, pretty decent price. How much is this shirt? The Burberry. 150. 150. That's not bad at all. I have many colors. So you would take like 100 if I had 100? No, I say you would buy already. 150. 150? Yes, big Hmm. Okay, come on. Eh, 150. I mean, what's two dollars? Still, you can get that shirt for a hundred k. You just have to stick to your guns, and you have to negotiate. It's a shame that I lost the earlier footage because 
I actually had some crazy prices all over the board. We've actually found a lady selling for 80K, like all of her shirts. Ciao. Yeah. How much is her shirt? Like the Patagonia, how much? Dumb right. What size? What's, look how fat I am, huge. 4XL. Do you want to see the color? No, I just want to know the price. I'm trying to find the best deal. Huh? I have me now. The morning, not yet sale, everything. But how much is one shirt? Oh, <laughs> You're reaching for the stars. Makwa. You think how much? See, these are like a hundred, girl. Okay, thank you. Come on. <laughs> she got offended because she got caught. That'll happen a lot too. And, and then I, you know, they kind of know I live here. After I said some Viet, she's like, shit. Not that I'm fluent. How much for one of the shirts? Yeah. That's a good price. 150 so this guy's good too. This guy's stall is good too. Come to the corner of this stall and come here. You can get that 100 all day long. He's hitting out of the gate with 150 You could probably get that 80 Again, if you can negotiate, you've got to not be a pussy on the negotiation. You have to, you have to push price then. So how much is one of the hats? 150 150 Yes. So like 100 150 So like 100 How many? Just one. Why would I need more than one? Okay. This? Nah, I don't know about this one. No, 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 no. Hundred? I'm still looking around. Hundred? Okay. Okay. Now I know. I come back if I want. One hundred. Come on. A hundred. As you're seeing, it's you know I call it hundred thousand market for a reason. The sunglasses same, hundred thousand. Almost all this stuff's like a hundred. Ciao. How much is a jersey? Like this uh, High Highland. Dong. 350 Vietnamese dong. Look at the stitching. It's all yeah, coming out of place. Yeah. <laughs> cheap. Nah, that's you too buy much. How many? I I just buy you. one. Just buy one. Okay, 300 or less. Try, 300. Uh, we had a whole share. I would do 80. Huh? 80. No, you choking me. I'm never, not joking you. Never. I'm not joking you. 300. 300. Okay, come on, G. 250 now. You're getting there, G. Come on. How much is the Saigon uh, shirt? Vietnam dong, will you ask? Dung rai. Okay. 200. Yeah. How many do you want more? Couple? I know we want one. Why do you guys always want us to buy a bunch? What just, size you want? It's okay, I'm still looking. Okay, how much you tell me by now? How cheap do you want for you? 80. Let me. Okay, 150. Nah, it's okay, okay, okay. G. Okay, 100. Now 100. Just 20,000 dollars more. I think about it, I think about it. Let me walk. Okay, okay. Come yeah. south, come south, I go walk okay, around. Okay, 80. Okay, I believe you, but let me walk okay, around. Okay, bye now. I still, bye. I still shopping. I come back if I want. Ciao, <laughs> hey. What I'm doing is kind of difficult without buying stuff. It tends to piss them off. So, I would not recommend doing what I'm doing right now uh, as a YouTuber. If you're going to come in here, buy shit. I have so much of this stuff, guys, that I'm not going to buy anymore. I know you guys like, oh, just buy it, buy some shirts. Dudes, I have literally 55 of these shirts. Like, how many more do you want? And you can't wash them. You know, if you buy any of this stuff and if you don't dry clean it, it shrinks like seven sizes. These will have a hole in the armpit after like a week or two of wearing them. So... So it's a lot of the same stuff. You're going to see a lot of the chow em. Hello. This is a new design. I haven't seen this design yet. We, we have a new new design. I think what happened was COVID. So then like they're still selling the old stock uh, pre-COVID. So like we're seeing a lot of this like marked prices. What does that say? Six million? No way. Crazy. But you're starting to see a lot more put a mark price on, like a way high price. So then when they like tell you a price, it seems like they're giving you this huge personal discount. So the, the best way to do stuff here is if you want one of these shirts, right? You want to get a bunch of these Hawaiian shirts. You want to take them home. You know, they're pretty much my, my merch, essentially. If you want to look like me back home and buy a bunch of those, you need to find a stall and then buy five or six there. And you should be able to get it down for 80k a shirt, no problem. Even cheaper, depending on how bad the lady wants to sale that day. 
All of this stuff costs around 20. So they pay less than 20 or around 20K. So like when, even at 100 guys, they're making three times. So they're making money at 100. You have to understand that. They're never gonna sell something to take a loss. It's just absolutely not gonna happen in any kind of way. Now I know that they gave a Michelin recommendation to one of the stalls in here. They didn't give a Michelin star, but they gave a recommendation to one of the food stalls in here. So let's go take a look and see if we can find it. So as far as all this stuff goes, a bag is gonna cost you like, you know, a backpack, 200, 250K, like a little smaller bag, 100 to 150K. Again, they're gonna hit you with crazy prices, but you just have to know how to negotiate and know the worth of this stuff. Like, I'm kind of curious what this costs. How much is this? Here, I turn the camera this way. How much? Yeah, no. 450. Okay, come on. So 450 for the Herschel bag. And then, you know, the white girl, real popular white girl bag. Every white, every white bitch in the world has one of them Herschel bags or whatever it is called. 450 was crazy. So you could probably, that was a pretty good copy. I could tell right as it was sitting there. 250 for that, you could get that for. So always half, pretty much half. If he's saying 450, you can get that shit for 200, 250, maybe 150 if you bought more than one, or maybe even 150 if you just threw it out there. It all depends on if they need a sale or if they don't need a sale. Overall, it's more expensive than what it was pre-COVID, but you can still get them down to reduce their prices. You can reduce them down to the proper price which is around 100K to 150 for nearly anything and everything, guys. That's everything and anything here. Take a look at this, this girl's shop. Maybe she'll leave a thumbnail. Always trying to get a good thumbnail. Oh, we got, I don't know the price of luggage. People ask me about luggage all the time. I wonder how much it costs. I have no idea what this stuff costs. Is this your store? Yeah. How much is this one? One hundred. One million. One million. Okay, one million. Not bad at all. How much is like a wallet? Like the Prada. Prada. Seven fifty. Seven fifty. Let's see. Let's take a look here. It's not bad. Are these all a million? Or are there cheaper ones? Yes, different. So how much is like this one? This one, one million six hundred. One million six hundred. Is that real? Is that actual Samsonite? It's still copy. Okay, come on, Em. Thank you. I think we got a thumbnail out of that. Let's try to find the food booth. So the luggage seemed a bit expensive, but fifty bucks. I mean, if she's saying a million, you could probably get it for six. I would again try at five. I always say half it, like whatever they say, just half it. So you could probably start at five and try from there. I would imagine the, I'm pretty sure it's this in here, one of the food stars got Michelin mentioned. Usually they already have a sign up that says they're on the Michelin guide and like fucking. Hello, you want to eat, sir? Calm, come on. Come on. Uh, the food court is thriving again. They're supposed to redo this whole thing, add air conditioning, Redo the stalls. They're supposed to put a bunch of money into this thing. Like a million. Like a million dollars or some crazy shit. There's a lot of people here. This is a Monday at 2 p.m. So this is pretty good for a Monday. This is peak hours for tourists and tourist buses, but still looks pretty good for what it is. Let's get a few more prices and then we'll round out this video and I'll get on to my next one kind of want to see what some some tourist stuff costs if I remember right these were like 250 ciao how much is this 200 200 yeah. very good deal yeah. she has good prices over here come check well, her you out don't buy you tell me good price you don't buy. just shooting YouTube video <laughs> I bought so much stuff here I got so much junk at home from so I say you cheap you do the video for <laughs> my stall <laughs> I just said to come to your stall you're honest. Like most people like are asking 500 for those right now. Everybody asking crazy prices now since COVID. I live here four years. So I've been filming this market for four years. Oh, yeah. And now it's just crazy. Everybody's like 500, 1 million. Like they're just shooting for the moon, you know? Okay, if you want to buy bread and you come back to my store. I recommend them. Come to her stall. She'll hook you up. 250 okay. is the price for those. Come on. Come on, G. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. 
Yeah. Souvenir. How much is a shot glass? This one. Boomerang. Yeah. You need a calculator for a shot yeah. glass, my uh, guy? Big size. Big size. Yeah, okay. Big okay, style. okay. 150. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 150. 150. Yeah. So you could get it for like yeah. 180. How much? You could probably. Three. It's okay. I'm just looking. Come on, come on. Come, Sal. Come on. Down to 100 as I walk away. So that's a pretty, pretty good tactic to do with it. that. Is just get a price and walk away. They'll start reducing the price immediately. Like it'll just get reduced and reduced. There's none of my vendors are here. I haven't seen my lady in the corner. She's not here. She's got somebody else watching her stall. My other lady is not here. None of the ladies are here. If they were smart, they sold their stall. I'd get rid of that stall, man. This ain't gonna be a forever, a forever business here, you know. Oh, we're back at the Rolex reducer. So that's pretty much the prices. Shoes are gonna be all over the place. I do not recommend fake shoes ever. They are the most uncomfortable shit in the world. I don't cover them. I'm not gonna tell you what they cost. I don't recommend them. I'm not gonna recommend you fuck up your foot, which what will happen with those. Now you can get like slides. The slides are okay, but even those are gonna be uncomfortable. I think we're good. There is an amazing crab restaurant out here. Let's see if I'm at that exit. If I can show it to you real quick. I shot it on the, uh, it's a crab seafood. Let me show you that as we, we finish up here. So in ending, Bendon Market is still the same. You can still get deals. It's much more aggressive. It's much tougher. And you have to be much more uh, affirmative and know the price of stuff. You know, on a whole, just half pricing it is gonna be working out pretty well for you. Oh, let's go this way. We'll walk it on this side. So in this area, you're gonna find a money exchange over here. This used to be the number one money exchange. And over the course of the years, it switched from this one to number one to this one to number one. You can also pawn gold here and buy gold. Mainly these are money exchanges. These are the two best money exchanges in town. They usually give you the best rate. If you are gonna bring over $100 bills, make sure they're brand new. If they've got any imperfections to them, they'll knock off money. If it's an older bill, you know, if it's a real badly damaged or just a bad looking 100, you might get 80 out of the 100. So you have to understand that. So if you do, some reason, wanna do money exchange, um, bring crisp brand new bills. And that's from any country. If you're from Australia, make sure you bring the newer currency, not the older one. You'll lose a huge amount by, by using the older currency, so I wouldn't recommend you do that. So, let's see. So everything in there again is 100K. 100 to 200K. You should not be paying for anything there more than 200. Maybe for some intricate art piece, I don't know about that, but like overall for shirts, shorts, all that stuff, you know, your maximum price, your maximum, maximum price should be 200K. Like everything can be had here for a price. Oh, this Bon Me is new. Bon Me, this is not the Bon Me I'd recommend to get. Some Koreans. So up here, you'll go straight ahead, and there is a uh, crab restaurant. I, you know what I'll do? I'm gonna forget, but I'm gonna just link it, the video at the end of this video for the recommended video. So if you watch this all the way through, you'll be able to see that. If you want to hang out with me on a personal tour when you do come to Vietnam, uh, in Saigon. You can sign up for the Patreon for as little as $5 a month. All kinds of additional content on there. You can send me a DM. We can set up a tour and we can go uh, check the town out. You know, you want to go on the nightlife? We can do nightlife. You want to eat food? We got to go to markets. You want me to help you uh, negotiate? All that jazz. I'm uh, very much so can do that. You just got to sign up Patreon, hit me up for a date. We'll line up the date and confirm it. And then you pay me what you want at the end of the tour. Everybody so far has been very happy with their tours. Uh, if you want to watch me live stream, which I do a lot now, uh, we do it over at kick.com forward slash fat and broke. I know you are like, it's a new platform. I don't want to go to another platform. I just want to be on YouTube. Well, this is live streaming, so this is nothing to do with YouTube. Um, it's more of a Twitch competitor, so it would really help me out if you go over to kick.com forward slash fat and broke. Links in the description and just follow me on there.
and put the notifications to all so you can see me live stream. I hope this video was helpful to some people that are interested in coming to Benthon Market. This video is going to match Saigon Square. They look very overpriced. They're coming out with crazy numbers, but you can get down to the proper price if you know how to negotiate and if you stay firm. So as ever, I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Stay frosty. See you on the next one. Peace out.